son, nephew, young man, let me holler at you. I was on Facebook the other day with one of my students, former students actually, smart guy. One of those smart guys, but used to goof off and make a lot of jokes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he's ex-military now. But he made the comment that he can't stand when uh, I, I cannot remember if he alluded to older people in specific or not. But basically, he said when he figured he knows what somebody's talking about already, that it's, you know, it's grievous and it's unbearable for him to sit there and keep listening. I beg to differ. Look, the world is becoming a colder, meaner, and less forgiving place. And like I've said before in other videos, number one, the difference between a poor man, middle class man, and a wealthy man is information and understanding of how to apply said information and access to information. When you're in high school, I mean, you can get access to every type of information from expert sources and people are trying to push the information on you. Get to a certain age, people ain't trying to give you information anymore. And they're not hearing any type of excuses for what you don't know can't do, don't do, or don't have. So if somebody's taking you, taking some time to give you information, be graceful and gracious enough and appreciative enough to listen. You can learn something from everybody. When you learn from them right then and there at that particular time, maybe, maybe not. But I know engineers and lawyers who become homeless. And when you are dealing with the average run-of-the-mill person, people who got stuff or have things to lose, or wealthy people and intelligent people don't wear badges and signs that say wealthy or intelligent. A lot of times, they hide in plain sight in order to be left alone. So you never know who you're talking to. But it doesn't hurt you to listen. If anything, let's say this person has zero to offer you in this particular conversation. It ain't like you got to go to the person's house tomorrow, knock on the door and be like, what's up, man? You want to chill or what? No. It's just a simple conversation. If it's not valuable to you, you can still listen, smile and nod and tell that person to have a good day because you reap what you sow. You may have a day where you just want to talk, want to vent, or just want to see somebody look at you in a favorable or uh, friendly manner. You just don't know. But I do know this, if you get to the point where you don't appreciate people talking to you, watch God make it to where people ain't talking to you no more, and you wish somebody would talk to you. You don't know what type of blessing you might miss by shutting somebody's conversation down. There's a way to do everything. There's a time and a season for everything, and there's a way to do everything. If somebody strikes up a small conversation with you, if it's not offensive, if it's not, uh, if it's not offensive, and if it's not, you know, um, with, with, with bad energy and bad intentions, you know, you, even if you have to go, you can still say, I'm so sorry. I think uh, the world of you and, and, and your conversation, but I really need to get to work. Thank you for, for being nice enough to take a moment to speak to me, but I got to get going. You have a blessed day. That's a long version of it. You can say, hey, I appreciate it, but I really have to get going. Thank you. But have a good one. There's nothing wrong with that. But to have a wrong attitude about anything in life God's got a way of showing hey, number one I might have sent something to you that you didn't receive because of your own attitude and your own ways and then number two watch how you treat people I put here on this planet 
Just something to think about. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. They say you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. So if somebody's trying to give you some information, see what they got. At one point, they may ask you if you're familiar with the subject matter. You may say yes or no. They may even introduce you to somebody else. See, that's the other thing, the networking piece. This person might not know anything that you need right now, but you don't know who they know, and you don't know who they have access to. But I know this much. You need allies in this world. You need genuine friends. Genuine friends are hard to come by. Allies and partnerships, not so much so. That takes people skills. But you don't want to be stuck on the island with no resources and no allies when Mad Day comes. I want to thank the over 500 people who have subscribed to my YouTube channel and the 2,600 some odd people who have subscribed to uh, or follow on TikTok. I just got started on Facebook and Instagram. I'm not, I don't know what the deal is with Instagram, Bob. So I guess I don't do it for the gram right or something. But um, like, as I've said before, I did this for my students. Um, but I'm just glad that people are finding it beneficial. So to keep the information going out there to people, the like button is free. And uh, that helps me to stay in the algorithm. And subscriptions are always appreciated. And as always, never lose the will to win and never lose the will to survive.